Weather Authority, Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca back with the full forecast for us. Hey, Dan. Hey, I teased this about maybe he's talking about some rain in the forecast. I know we've been talking about that for a while. I mean, we had some in September, which was weird. But since then, it's been like in like two Hi. weeks, we might be seeing some rain. And guess where we are in the forecast right now? In like two weeks, we might be seeing some rain. Maybe like a week and a half, okay? So something to look forward to. In the meantime, Veronica, more chilly weather. I know you're a fan of the cold air and the cold weather. We got some more of that in the forecast for you. Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf in Monterey tonight and uh, skies are clear. Winds have died down as well. We had some wind earlier. Those winds for the most part done. A few high clouds drifting in, spilling over the ridge of high pressure off to our northwest. Uh, other than that, pretty tranquil weather pattern right now. The air masses that have been coming in from the north have been somewhat cool for this time of year, so it hasn't been all that warm. But, you know, if you're in the sun and out of the wind, it feels pretty nice still. The October sun still just high enough to feel warm. But the nights are long and full of terrors. No, no, that's a different thing. But the nights are long, and because of that, with this dry, cool air masses in place and no clouds to act as a blanket, it's going to be another chilly night overnight tonight. But in the sunshine tomorrow, it'll feel pretty nice. Let's take a look at where we're going from here. So the ridge of high pressure builds in pretty quickly and then moves into the Great Basin. And then you're thinking, oh, what is this? This looks like a rubber chicken of rain, but it's going to vanish. Watch what happens. It just, it's gone. Doesn't really get anywhere close to us. Then what happens is the ridge rebuilds. So a weak system is going to pass by Friday. That will cool us off just a touch. And then the system rebuilds, the high pressure system rebuilds, so that's gonna warm us up into the weekend and probably through Halloween. And then out of Halloween, so we're talking Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, a deep trough is gonna dig down on the west coast. And models have been uh, consistent, at least one of our main models has been consistent in showing some rain in our neck of the woods Tuesday into Wednesday. So I guess it's only about a week away, something to look forward to. But looks like we're going to get through Halloween on the dry side with some nice weather to look forward to. As I mentioned, sky's clear tonight. Not much in the way of cloud cover. The model showing a couple low clouds around the peninsula, and it's possible. But I think we're going to start the day on the clear side for most locations and stay clear throughout the day tomorrow outside of maybe a few thin high clouds passing through. That's about it. Should be a pretty nice day. The atmosphere beginning to modify a little bit. We're starting to warm it back up a little bit. So our highs tomorrow across the board should be warmer than today, if only by a couple of degrees, but will be warmer nonetheless. Let's get to those temperatures because it's going to be another chilly one overnight tonight, as I mentioned, uh, with the dry air in place and the long night. Patchy frost possible in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys, but not widespread frost, just patchy. Temperatures back into the 70s tomorrow afternoon, though. Santa Cruz up to 70 tomorrow, mid 60s in uh, Capitola and out to Davenport, so not too bad on the north side of the bay. Maybe a little cool for this time of year still, but It'll feel nice in the sunshine. Low 70s, Watsonville to Salinas, cooler back along the Bay Shore. Warmer as you head into our northern valleys with some mid 70s in places like Gilroy and Hollister. The Monterey Peninsula, where we saw highs in the mid 60s today, like Monterey was 64. It'll be a few degrees warmer tomorrow at 67. And even Pacific Grove, a couple of degrees warmer tomorrow with uh, mostly sunny skies and less wind to deal with. Down south, temperatures in the mid 70s for the most part. But again, tomorrow morning in our southern valleys, it's going to be chilly. In fact, uh, Lockwood got down to 28 this morning, the average across the San Antonio Valley tomorrow morning. And then again, that's kind of like I do. I do a forecast for like that three that triangle of area from Fort Hunter Liggett to Halone to Lockwood and then back. That's going to average around 32. So some frost possible for you folks. Parkfield could see a little bit as well. But the rest of the Salinas Valley in the 30s and 40s for our lows. Highs back in the 70s across the board tomorrow. So as I mentioned, a little speed bump in the temperature increase on Friday. We'll cool off just a touch. We'll probably have a few low clouds on the coast. But I'm not expecting a May gray style day or anything. And then a slow warm up to Halloween. After that, we're watching late Tuesday into Wednesday for some precipitation. Uh, and you'll definitely see much cooler temperatures both on the coast and inland, a big cool down as well. Inland temperatures, which should be around 76 this time of year, will actually get there by Saturday and above there by Sunday and Monday, which is Halloween. After that, we're cooling down and watching for rain. So stay tuned to the forecast, Veronica. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you, Dan.